combat is ubiquitous in video games all the way back to the beginning. We've seen virtual combat evolve from rudimentary basics to mind-bustingly complicated. You people love this. Recent titles allow the infinitely customizable gun that gives the player full control over how they want to shoot somebody, what kind of damage they want to do, and in what very specific awesome way they can blast an alien invader or a communist or what have you. This also provides the opportunity for intense geeking out over stats, custom weapon combo comparisons, and black holes of bickering over what is the absolute perfect gun and what is the crappiest worst gun ever. But when we play any given sword-based combat game, we're left with a glaringly absent suite of customization options. Sorry, but these don't count. The obsessive attention to real-world detail so interesting to people who play shooters has been absent in the sword world despite the fact that there's a galaxy of real weapon styles and variations just waiting to be incorporated into games. Same story with fighting styles. The diversity of projectile weapons and shooters, combined with realistic simulation of their physics, unfolds a vast catalog of distinct fighting styles for players. A player can hang back and snipe from a remote location on the map with a bolt-action rifle, they can barge into the fray, guns ablazing with a shotgun. They can meticulously advance with a submachine gun. But in sword fighting games, the player is pretty much in jail, limited to a small set of repetitive moves, or else fighting in some kind of magical fantasy land where physics doesn't count anyway. Gamers are active, not passive consumers. They want to hack the pig carcass with their own hands. As Gabe Newell puts it, every 13-year-old kid on Earth wants to see a knight fighting a samurai. No, wants to be a knight fighting a samurai. Our strategy is to give them the tools they need to be that and to do that directly in a hands-on way that's historically credible. How do we make that into a fun game? Guitar Hero with Swords. We've been messing around with sparring weapons, low and high tech, for a lot of years. Just take a look at our boneyard of mutant swords, some of them imbued with electronic sensors and even cameras. Some of these are crude, but that's kind of the point. We're ready to step it up. Here's how we're going to do this if you give us the funding we need. Study the books, talk to the experts, pay attention, show respect. These arts are part of the world's cultural patrimony, just as much as symphonies and architecture. Don't study a martial art because you want to make a video game. Make a video game because you care that much about a martial art. We've been doing this for a while. The idea of making a game came along pretty late. If this campaign fails and the game never happens, we'll keep training anyway. Work with original weapons or their equivalents. This means having in-house sword experts. Actually go through the moves, try things out, figure out what works and what doesn't. To absorb as much knowledge as possible about the mechanics of the art, we use video, motion capture, low-tech stuff like pencil and paper, and things that don't have names yet because we invented them. We're not going to dumb it down. We assume you can handle as much technical detail in a sword game as you can in a shooter. Our challenge is to find ways to pack that into the game. This means new controller hardware and new user interface paradigms. We're going to start with an off-the-shelf controller that anyone can buy today. This eliminates the risk that we'll blow this by failing on some ambitious custom hardware project. From there, we'll iterate to better stuff based partly on your feedback. Games are fun, but they're expensive and hard to make, and they can't convey everything. There's a lot of game-enriching context and background that can be transmitted by telling stories on the page and on the screen. Lots of video game worlds spawn novels. We started with a novel and are moving into the game. Seems like the Internet has turned into one big machine for people to argue about things. They're going to argue about our game, too. Fine. But we want to set up the process so that we or others can come along later and do it again with other arts. It'd be crazy to think that any one company can encompass every art, weapon, and fighting style. Document the process, build the tools, so that others can come along and use them.
If this campaign succeeds, then once the dust is settled, we'll have enough in the bank to hire the talent we need to produce a simple, playable game that we can build onto. Sure, it'd be great to raise tens of millions of dollars and make a huge AAA open world game, but there's a price you pay for taking lots of funding up front, and that price is loss of creative control. We think that the approach we're taking here, crowdfunding and building around a kernel that we control, is going to be better. Now, this isn't about me, but let me address something that might be in the back of your mind. What the hell am I doing? I'm a novelist. And I may be a very geeky novelist indeed, but I'm still not a video game maker. Because I'm nerd famous, I can be a talking head to bring in some money, but my goal is to use that money to hire people who can run it so that I can get back to my primary function in today's global economy, which is sitting on my butt, making things up, and cashing checks. Why don't I just do that all the time? Why mess around with this at all? Well, Subutai Corporation is my attempt to figure out what the future of my craft looks like in a world where fiction gets distributed on electronic devices 10 minutes after it's written, where video games, movies, and graphic novels are produced from shared digital assets using a common tool chain, and in which geek culture is fascinated by huge, long-running franchises describing the arcs of imaginary worlds spanning thousands of years where creators can route around the old broken-down funding models and get their production budgets directly via crowdsourcing, which is your cue, by the way.